Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel from Jenna Fan TV, man. Back at you with a video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all the videos, man. Let's get into today's topic. So here we are, man. Uh, training camp day six, and today seemed to be practice was focused on the one-on-one -on -one matchups. So we're talking about, you know, wide receivers versus DBs, which is always a fun day to watch, uh, or at least, you know, hear about. You know, we can see any videos, really. We'll probably get some on the Ravens Twitter page later. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we're going to talk about today. And um, but first, uh, let's do the injuries, right? All right, Geno Stone did not practice. He was hurt yesterday. Harbaugh said that he doesn't think that injury is going to be too serious to keep him out for too long. And also, David Ojabo left practice uh, early today. Once again, John Harbaugh said the injury doesn't seem to be too serious or anything like that. Apparently, David Ojabo came back out to watch practice and it didn't seem really uh, in any discomfort, right? So it seemed like he was okay. Maybe just a minor tweak, right? So that's good. And obviously the same pup guys has been out, still out. Uh, Ricard, Dobbins, um, Bateman. And then, you know, a guy like Ty's Bowles are out on the uh, NFI list, all right? So, all right, so we're going to break it up in two categories, the one-on-ones and the seven-on-sevens. And, uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So you see the title of this video. Uh, that's the guy we're going to start off with. Uh, that's Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers today was apparently unguardable, unstoppable. Uh, too many guys couldn't get near him, all right? Now, one, that's great. You want to hear that. But also, I want to say, when it comes to these one-on-one -on -one drills, right, the wide receivers are at um, a severe advantage, all right? I'm just going to put it out there. Uh, but that doesn't take anything away from Zay Flowers and doing what he's doing to happen to get open, right? He did what he had to do. So I just want to say that, right? So don't say anybody got, just because they lost Zay Flowers, they bad, terrible. Listen, it's stacked against them already, you know what I mean? But to talk about Zay Flowers, he beat Rocky Cena on a streak route, showed on off that speed, beat Daryl Woolley on an out route. And then Mayfield Jr., one of the undrafted free agents, he beat him on a double move. I think they said it was a uh, a corner post. So, um, or a post corner, one of the two. I can't remember what he said. Uh, so he beat him on a double move. And Zay Flowers out there creating a ton of separation. This is the reason the Ravens drafted him so high. This is the reason that, for the Ravens' sake, he was my number one player that I wanted on the Ravens, right? Um, Yak monster, separation, quick, fast, elite kind of guy. He has the kind of traits that... He looks like, you know, I just throw a comparison out there. He looks like Antonio Brown a lot when he plays, right? Now, you want to have, you know, obviously nothing off the field like Antonio Brown. But if we're talking about purely football, that's who he reminds me of when he plays is Antonio Brown. You know, I know his favorite player was uh, Steve Smith growing up. So, Steve Smith is always is also another good guy to want to inspire your game to be around. But I see a lot of Antonio Brown in Zay Flowers' game, right? Um, so, all right, who also won? Uh, who also happened to one-on-one. -on -one. So Aguilar went up against Marlon Humphrey twice. They split the reps 1-1. Marlon had a pass breakup on the first time they went up. And then uh, Aguilar beat Marlon the second time. Apparently, he stumbled during the route. Uh, Aguilar did, but ended up still making a catch while falling down. So that's a good play for him, showing that recovery. And also Aguilar going up against one of the top corners on the Ravens, making a play. That's great to see, right? So um, Aguilar had a great day yesterday in practice. He's having another good day today. Uh, he's one of the standout guys um, again, so along with Zay Flowers. So I'm happy that Nelson Aguilar is a guy that I'm not going to be honest. I'm going to be very, very honest here. When he was signed, I wasn't too excited about it. But maybe the Ravens can help him get back to that form he had when he had that really great year for the Raiders. And he can get back to that kind of form where he can be that kind of contributor on a winning team this time around. You know what I mean? So uh, he had a good he had a good day. Uh, Rocky is seen. He didn't get beat all day. He did have a pass breakup guarding Devin DuVernay. So that's great. I know Rocky seen is kind of not criticism, nothing like that. But I know a lot of people are saying, oh, he might be getting beat a lot in practice, whatever. Um, but he came up with a pass breakup right here. I think it'll be fine. All right. Um, now, underrated guy, under, uh, under the radar kind of guy. Uh, you know, the Ravens have a lot of competition for this uh, last receiving spot. And uh, Tariq Black, wide receiver that the Ravens, I believe, picked up from. I think he was on the Jets last year, if I'm not mistaken, maybe on their practice squad or something like that. He ends up beating Brandon Stevens on a streak route. Got a step on him. And Tyreek Black's not a small guy. I believe he's about 6'3", 6'4", if I'm not mistaken. You know, he's a big time, he's a big receiver. So for him to get behind somebody, and Brandon Stevens is slow. So um, I thought that was impressive. I thought that was um, something interesting, right? Now, as far as Brandon Stevens goes, I think that, his skill set, quite honestly, is is better used on tight ends. That's that's just my honest opinion on it. I think he's physical, um, likes to get his hands on people. He's really good at press, bump and run kind of things. But um, I think guys can get behind Brandon Stevens pretty easily 
Uh, I don't think his long speed is the is the best. If we're being completely honest, right? So um, yeah, that's, that, that is what it is on that. You know, Tyree Black continues to make plays, which is great. Um, the Ravens have a lot of competition at wide receiver for you know for the first time. It's like they have a lot of guys that are really really talented. So yeah, I got his list away. Six three two thirteen for Tyreek Black. So big big receiver like that moving down the field getting past defenders. That's impressive, man. All right, now another guy on the defense. Um, sorry, Caillou Blue Kelly, the rookie out of Stanford. He was guarding Shamar Bridges and actually jumped the route and caught an interception. So this is to me is very very impressive. And in one on ones, it's hard for the DBs to get stops. All right, it's very very difficult. So for him to not only stop the route. But jump it and get an interception, that's a great play by the rookie. And, um, you know, he's going to have to keep flourishing, right? That third cornerback spot is wide open. And he's one of the guys whose name is in the hat. And um, players like this are going to help him stand out, right? Because before this, I haven't heard his name too much. That doesn't mean he was bad. It doesn't mean that, you know, he wasn't playing well. He just had wasn't this enough to have the reporters mention his name. But a play like this, catching an interception in one-on-ones, that's going to get you noticed, right? So shout out to him for that play. All right, now, 7 on 7s. Uh, I think they said this was most like near the red zone. And we're starting right back again with Zay Flowers, man. Zay Flowers scored a couple touchdowns in the red zone today. Uh, one of them he scored when he went up against um, uh, Marcus Williams. I guess he ended up getting uh, matched up against Marcus Williams. Caught it on him in the red zone. And then after he uh, actually caught the touchdown, talked a little trash to Marcus Williams, too. So I don't mind that at all. Zay Flowers is that kind of competitor. He got that kind of swagger, that kind of energy that way. You know, sometimes he'll beat you and he'll let you know about it. And I don't have any issue with that at all. I don't think it's going to be one of those guys where, you know, he trash tossing and gets him out of his game. I think it helps him. So I'm cool with that 100%. Um, so Delshawn Phillips, who's on the team last year, I think he also came over from the Jets, if I'm not mistaken. But he was on the team last year. He mostly played special teams. He ended up getting two stops versus one versus Isaiah Lively. Excuse me, Isaiah Likely, and then one against the rookie I mentioned the other day, which is Travis Vokalek, and actually didn't just get the stop on him. Actually intercepted the pass and probably would took it for a touchdown if they, you know, if they were playing a, a real game. You know what I mean? So great plays by him back to back, and then um, another one for uh, o Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham probably had a good day. He did drop, but they said it would have been like a seventy-yard touchdown. He made himself do push after that because you know. He's he's known for his hands, so I know dropping that was that's something that's never in his plan. So, but he did have a back shoulder fade on Rocky Scene that he caught, uh, came down with it. Uh, great throw by Lamar Jackson. Uh, great catch by Odell Beckham. And listen, man, back shoulders are tough for any quarterback to, to defend, and it's something that I have been hoping and dreaming the Ravens will add into the offense for many many years. The back shoulder fade. If the, if Lamar can get this down, which I think he can, I think it was more of a offensive limitation from previous years if the Ravens can really implement the back shoulder fade as a part of the offense especially down closer to the red zone it's going to help their red zone offense so much more all right so also we have here oh Zay Flowers again on this time they said from like five yards out versus Marlon Humphrey uh, he got loose of Marlon then Brandon Stevens came over uh, bagged the ball down they wanted Zay Flowers wanted to flag on the play apparently he felt like Brandon Stevens got there too early but nothing was called all right and then lastly, uh, Jalen Armour Davis, who's been out there practicing recently, got a pass breakup on Tylen Wallace in the red zone. Tylen tried to run a double move. Uh, Jalen didn't go for it, stayed disciplined, and, and, uh, and broke the play up, right? That's tough. A double move and, and, and when you kind of matched up one-on-one, -on -one, that's tough to stay disciplined, and he did it, right? So good for him. Now, that's kind of what happened in practice today. A lot of ones, uh, no, really, no, no injuries, really. I know we talked about Ojabo leaving. But it seemed like he's okay. Uh, I know Geno Stone didn't come back from yesterday's practice. But once again, he's another guy that seems like he's okay. So the Ravens had one-on-ones today. It seemed to be very successful, very competitive. Um, the offense showed out as they should. When it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, I need the offense to win. right? Because that, that's who it was designed for, I'm being quite honest. right? And they did that. So I'm glad that they won. right? If, I if they would have had one-on-ones today and it would have been dominated by the defense, I'd be worried about that. All right, be quite honest. I'd be very, very worried about that. So Zay Flowers is one of the most shifty electric receivers in the NFL already. I'm saying that already. Just I'm not saying that means he's one of the best, the top dog. I'm saying just in terms of the way he can move out there, it's rare. It's special, right? Um, so uh, 
uh, that, that's the Ravens news right there, man. You know, one-on-ones. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, but for now, I'm going to get out of here, man. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you stay to this point in the video, consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, more Ravens content coming at you, man. It's Gabriel, just another fan TV. I'm out.